Hi my loves, welcome back to my channel. So today is a huge haul video that I'm doing. Um, well it's not that big, I did buy some stuff like it's crazy like I can't stop shopping and I need to stop because I just need to stop. Money is not like, it don't grow on trees for me, like I need to stop shopping. But I wanted to show you guys all these things that I got because I want to put them away. Um, I got some more storage in here so because I've been buying so much crap lately that I need some place to put it. So I want to get this stuff off of my vanity and put away so I can show you guys today. So I hope you enjoy. I'm not gonna, I'm probably not gonna do too many swatches because that's probably gonna take forever and a day. So yeah, let's get into the whole video. So most of the stuff is from Sephora, um, but I'll let you know if it's not from Sephora. Um, I'm gonna start out with MAC first because that's just the obvious. So I went and I don't know what I went to MAC for. I didn't really go to get anything. I was just looking and I realized that I need to stock up on some more lip glosses. So the first one that I got that I have on today on top of Jeffree Star's Androgyny is Oyster Girl. You guys know Oyster Girl is like a oldie but a goodie. Like everybody loves Oyster Girl. This is like the best color ever. It's like an iridescent pinky. Uh, some gold reflexes in it, but this is an amazing, beautiful color. The next lip glass I got was Nymphette, Nymphette, something like that. And this one is like a pinkish with like a little bit of gold reflex in it. This is so pretty. I've never tried this lip glass before, so I'm really excited to try this one. This Pagoda. Pagoda is a repurchase for me. I've had this before, and I really, really love this color. It's just a very bright pink, and it's more like Okay, it's a cream sheen, so it's more of a cream finish. It's not like super bright once you put it on. Um, and it has a little bit of what silver, gold, and purple iridescent reflex in it. This is such a beautiful color. I love this color. I miss it so much. The next one I got, this is also a cream sheen lip glass, and this color is in Delight. What does Delight look like? Okay, so Delight is just like a regular... Almost like a rosy, mauve, more like a mauve color. So if you see, it's a little bit more mauve looking. It's really pretty. It doesn't have any sheen to it, no shimmers or anything. I think I'm really going to like this one. So that's it for lip glosses. I only got four. And then I got this cream color base. I have two cream color bases. I think I have a pink one, which is in process magenta. And another one. I'm not sure what it is. But I wanted to get this one. This one is in cool. This one is cool. Improper copper. I've seen this before so many times, and I've always wanted to pick it up, but I never did. And this one is a golden color. And I said this would be really pretty as a highlight. If you guys could see it, oh, there it is. A little bit on camera, you can see the iridescent that's picking up of the gold. It is so so pretty. And I like the magenta one. I like to put that on my cheeks and then put my blush on top of it. So this one I'm probably just going to put down as a base for my highlighter. I think that's going to work the best. Alright, so that's it with the non-Sephora items. Now I'm going to show you Anastasia. So you guys, if you don't know, Anastasia Beverly Hills is now sold in Sephora. Well, they always had it in Sephora. They just only had her brow products. But now you can get her whole entire line is on Sephora. Um, I think they're still putting things in like the like some of her li liquid lipsticks, some of her brushes, especially the highlighter brush I'm waiting to get. Um, but everything else they have. So what I got was Sepia, and this is the lip gloss version. They don't have the liquid lipstick on there as of yet but I know they will get it so sepia is like a chocolate color you guys like these lip glosses are so bomb like look at that that is the full color it's like a glossy liquid lipstick almost <laughs> like well like a cream or something but they oh my god they smell like cupcakes and I wanna buy some more I heard that the Sephora VIB sale is coming up and even though I don't need to spend any more money, I think I might have to get some more of these lip glosses because they are so bomb. So the next thing I got was the Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit. So like I've been really waiting to get this. Like I wanted to get both of them, but I didn't. I controlled myself. I was like, be easy. Don't be going crazy. So I just got this one in that glow. These hot, these things are huge. I thought they was gonna be the size of like uh, Makeup Forever eyeshadow, but they're bigger. Like, 
oh my god like these oh my i had to swatch it even though i told myself don't touch it until i showed y'all i had to swatch it beforehand because omg so look at that oh my goodness oh my goodness i am so obsessed i cannot wait to use this oh my lord now it makes me want to get the other one like the pinkier one even though it's probably not going to be like that good for my skin tone but still you guys know once i buy one thing i gotta buy the other thing so the next thing that i got was eyelashes and everybody has been raving about the huda beauty lashes everybody be like this with their lashes and i was like oh my gosh i want them just so i could do this but no <laughs> seriously i got this one in the color samantha and this one is like a favorite for everyone it's like a wispy it's almost like the ardell demi wispies in a way they're so so pretty i cannot wait to wear these and the other one i got they're really dramatic and long and this one is in lana so i'm excited to use this i've been on like a lash kick lately so i'm excited to see how these lashes so the next couple of things i got are from makeup forever and this is the step one skin equalizer in number 10 this one is the radiant one in caramel um i wanted I, when i worked at sephora i would get samples of this all the time because i wanted to try it so bad but i just never purchased it so i just decided to buy it and it's almost like a color correcting um they have green and pink and purple you know those type of colors for color correcting and the this one is more for a radiant for deeper skin tones so it's orange but it goes right under your foundation and you will still put on a primer first so like put on your regular primer and then go on with this on top and then your foundation and it's supposed to give you a nice radiant effect and i haven't um used this one yet so i'm waiting to do that next from makeup forever you guys like i was waiting for this to come on the site um this is the pro sculpting palette Makeup Forever normally doesn't follow all the trends of like um, highlighting and contouring and things like that because Makeup Forever is more of an artistry brand. So when they come out with things, it's like multi-use type of stuff. When they came out with this, I was like so excited. And I have their um, concealer palette that's similar to this almost. So I wanted to try this. It comes with a color corrected shade, which I believe this is. This looks like more of a highlighting shade because it's gold and has like reflex in it this will be your contour shade and I think this will be your concealer shade so you have everything here you don't even have to buy nothing else it's like one stop and go also it comes with a booklet you guys on how to contour highlight shimmer everything for different face shapes so that is really really cool and really helpful for beginners if you are a beginner you will probably definitely love this palette Next for Makeup Forever, which is new as well, it came online the same time as the Pro Sculpting palette did, and this is their Pro Sculpting Brow. So I got mine. Okay, so I got mine in the shade 50, and I think I should have got 40 because it is a little ashy. So I might end up like returning it so I can get number 40. I mean number 40 because this one, even though this one was the darkest color, I feel like maybe number 40 was a dark dark black brown something and then this one was like the ashier color but anyway it's like the brow definer from Anastasia Beverly Hills with the same tip also like the hourglass the hourglass has one just like this and it comes with a a spoolie and then the other cool thing about this is if you twist it it's like a brow powder for highlighting under your brows so that's really cool as well. I haven't seen any eyebrow product do that before. So the last thing I got from Makeup Forever is the Artist Shadow 3 palette. You guys know I have one and two and I also bought their big holiday palette that they came out with. So this one is more for springtime and this one has like the different flowers on it on the front. Of course it comes with a huge mirror. And then these are the colors. I cannot wait to use this. It's so cute, so pretty. The colors are so springy, so vibrant. Um, Makeup Forever seems to recycle their shadows in the palette a lot because I swear. And both palettes, I probably have one, two, and three colors. But it's okay. I love Makeup Forever shadow, so the more the better. So these are the next couple of items that I got are the last items. And these are all by Marc Jacobs. So the first thing I'm going to start out with is something that I was really disappointed in 
is this Marc Jacobs Remarkable Foundation. I heard, I know that everybody raves about this, but you guys, I cannot stand this. I attempted to do a first impressions on this, but it was so horrible on camera, like I couldn't even, I couldn't even do it. Um, so I got like the second to darkest shade, and you guys, when I put this on, my face turns gray. So this will be going back, and I think I'm gonna exchange it for the um i have it on today and i had to mix it in with the cover effects drops you guys know i don't mind doing that but i want to try this foundation by itself because the coverage on it is so amazing if it didn't turn gray on me like this would be like my favorite like holy grail but it turns completely gray on my skin in person it doesn't look bad but once i get on camera it looks horrible and i need this to look good for so the next couple of things by mark jacobs i love and it's two lip glosses. You guys, my Jacobs makes the best lip glosses ever. My favorite is Sugar Sugar, but Sugar Sugar is always out of stock and it's annoying. So this first one is called Love Buzz. And this almost similar looks like the MAC one that I got with the pink with the gold reflex in it. But this one is always sold out as well. So if you guys get definitely get your hands on this one and Sugar Sugar. So Love Buzz and Sugar Sugar. Next color is... This one is in Pretty Thing. Pretty Thing is just like a mauve pink one and it has no shimmers or anything in it. So pretty. His lip glosses are a bit pricey. I think they're in the $20, $30 range, but they are so well worth it. The next thing that I got that I love, I used to get samples of this at work all the time and just like, I never bought it until now. Um, and this is his Remarkable Full Coverage Concealer and it comes in this little pot like this so beautiful just the packaging I love it it is glass and I got this one in the shade 7 bright amazing for under eye highlighting concealer like oh my gosh I love this I love it love it love it I cannot wait to break into this. okay so next is something that I've been wanting to get for the longest time because I used to use it every day at work and I told myself one day I will buy this brush even though it is like a $50 brush I knew I wanted to get it and this is the Marc Jacobs face to brush you guys this is a heavy ass brush but oh my god this is like such an amazing beautiful brush look at this so pretty and it's so soft it has like a slant to it if you can see uh, more of a slant so you kind of brush down I cannot wait I don't even want to use it because I don't want to get it dirty but it's so so nice so soft I used to use this on my clients all the time and they used to say how soft this brush is and I used to tell them girl did I get this brush okay so I have one two three four five things left the first thing I want to start out with is this because I'm gonna say that YouTube and Instagram made me get this this is the Laura Mercier translucent powder everybody uses this but I've never tried it so I said because it's $40 so I was just like let me just bite the bullet and buy it everybody knows what this looks like it's just a translucent powder I had to try it. I wanted to get this eye secret brightening powder, but I've heard that if you're more of a deeper skin tone, it might not look right on your skin. It might kind of, it does cause flashback, and Lord knows I can't be dealing with flashback. The next thing I got is this Ambient Lighting Blush by Hourglass. You guys, I don't own too many Hourglass products. I only own the Hourglass products that I got in gratis when I was working in Sephora. So I've never bought anything from Hourglass, but I've always had my eye on this blush. And this is in the color Radiant Magenta. And this is an ambient blush. I said that. <laughs> and this one is in Radiant Magenta. This blush is so pretty. It's like pink with, oh my goodness. It may look too bright, but it looks amazing on my skin tone, on deeper skin tones. This is like the best blush ever. I am obsessed with this blush. Next is something I wanted to get all the time. I used to put this on all the time at work, but I never bought it. And this is the Kat Von D. Studded Lipstick in Lovecraft. This is the perfect pinky nude lipstick. I used to put this on with Sugar Sugar by Marc Jacobs on top. You guys, it is so beautiful. The only thing is you don't get that much product in this lipstick. 
but oh my gosh I got so many swatches on my hand but the color on it is like I said the perfect pinky nude for any skin tone like you guys I love 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 this color the lipstick is so nice it's so moisturizing Kat Von D has the best lipsticks and liquid lipsticks in my opinion so second to last is a eyeliner and this is the Tarte Tidiest Eyeliner I used to, again I used to use this on all of my clients on the time the thing I like about this is that it comes with the brush so you get the eyeliner, you get the eyeliner brush, which is a slanted brush like this, and you get the, what is it, like a, the liquid, it is a liquid, it's not like a cream, it is very, very black, and it does dry to a matte finish, like, it does take some getting used to if you're more like a liquid girl and like the, you know, the stick form, but other than that, this liner is so bomb I love 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 this line. last but not least you guys is something that I wanted for a long time but I never like could talk myself up into purchasing it because it's so expensive and I just decided now I didn't get this from Sephora but Sephora does carry this this was a website called friends beauty I found it on Instagram everybody was reposting about it because it was going on sale and it is the Viseart palettes now they had them on sale for like what sixty something dollars and these are eighty dollars and I kick myself every single day because I wish I would have got two instead of just one but I really wanted this one and this one is the dark matte palette y'all these colors are no joke I didn't want the neutral one because I have so many neutral palettes I was like get the dark one because oh my god these colors are so bomb I had to swatch this too once I got it like I couldn't just not see what the colors are like you guys this palette is so amazing like if you don't have a busy art palette in your life like you need it so yeah you guys this is it for my whole video I hope you all enjoyed I hope it wasn't too long for you I hope you like everything I got I'm gonna be trying to put all this stuff away I will be doing some videos with these products so please leave me some requests down below that I can do for you guys and I thank you all so much for watching please subscribe if you haven't give me a big thumbs up and I will catch you all in my next video bye